Hello and good afternoon or good morning wherever you are in this uh, world of ours. It's a very good afternoon to you. It's Alan here from Compass Media and I'm joined by my co-hosts and founder and co-founder of uh, the Global Tea Break. Scotts, how are you today? <laughs> I'm doing good uh, here on the on the west coast of the US. It's um what is it? It's 8 a.m. just after eight. But check this out. Check this out. Hey, look at that. <laughs> look at that. I got the uh I got the global tea break mug here, the official mug connecting business owners around the world. And it is a worldwide community of thought leaders and entrepreneurs. What could be wrong when you when you start something? And a year later, it's still going and going strong. Yeah, and that's the thing, you know. It's it's gas, and I, I know we we we've talked about this before, where we've actually said, you know, like how it all started. But it really, you know, it's it's amazing. It's amazing um, to be actually um, a year in. It's hard to it's hard actually to believe that we started this a year ago. So, yeah, I uh, see uh, Russ is in the Russ is in as well. So he says, hey, good, good morning, morning, Russ. Good morning, Russ. So if you want to jump on, let's know, and we'll uh, I can send you on the link, and uh, you can jump in if you want to say hello. It's up Russ. To you. I, I think I I don't know if Russ has missed one of the tea breaks. Maybe maybe one. I think he's over, missed one overall over the year. Over, yeah. Yeah, I think but I'll tell you what, Russ has made up for it in um in his connections and yeah. follow-up meetings. He is um a master networker, um, making connections between people. Hey, there's Jason Cooper too. Good to yeah. see you, Jason. Good people morning. are jumping in. Uh I love that. Yeah, Alan and Scott are awesome because they started this incredible community. It is amazing. And it is. It's great. It's great. And it's great to have Russ as part of it because he is just uh, such an advocate for the group. And he, mm. he epitomizes everything that we originally originally wanted to sort of set up um, by literally, uh, you know, connecting people around the world. And uh, he's done so much of it. It's uh, He put us all to shame, I think, at the end of the <laughs> <laughs> well, and I, I love the the business uh, partnerships that have come out of the tea break. Mm. So I know you're you're doing um, <laughs> more business. Um, we've got uh, uh, David Brown. He's crossed the he's crossed the ocean to do business with folks. Yeah. Yeah, and I think that's um, but like that's been great because there's been so many connections made, um, like. When you think about, like, uh, as I said, like, Dave has done work in, the, in with guys in the States. So I'm, I've done the same. I'm right around Europe and, and around Europe as well. So it's been great. And I know uh, there's a lot of people have connected and have been on each other's podcasts as well, which is another great thing yep. that has, sort of has come out of it. So it's it's built visibility. It's also built as well awareness for people to actually um, connect and then come together and collaborate, you know? Yeah. And um, and the the tea break has has uh, developed over time. You know, start off with we were just kind of doing some networking, then we added the uh, education time, and of course built a beautiful website. Mm. Mm. Yeah, no, it's great. It's great. I'm just what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to pop uh, the link into the chat here. So if someone, if the guy, if any of the guys want to, I know uh, Don is on. I know Jason's in there as well, and I also know Jason is in there as well. Hey, um, and Cammy's uh, there, here. Here's Cammy as well. Um, so if anyone wants to jump in and say hello, uh, just uh, click and go on, go to that link, the Streamyard link, and uh, we should bring you in. We'd be delighted to have your company uh, in here. <laughs> I have to laugh at Don saying, good afternoon. I'm tired of looking at Alan's mug. <laughs> well, you can look at my mug. You can look He's at my mug. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. And uh, Jason Cooper is saying it's a great community and well worth taking part. So thanks for that. Um, and then what was it? Cammy says, I have met some amazing people at the Global Tea Break. Such a great mm -hmm. event. Great. And uh, it's great to have uh, people like yourself and Cammy and all of uh, the guys here as well. Um, and yeah. there's like, I have to laugh. Uh, Russ is saying, I'm blessed to know the two of you and the whole community. And then he goes on to say, <laughs> <laughs> I am on with Wendy Stunt live on, on her live show today as well. Bridge is oh, great. Nice. 
yeah wendy has started up her new show as well so um yeah um uh, I can't remember the actual name of it. I think it was Connectors or something to do around that. But uh, yeah, brilliant show. Do check it That's out. Great. As well. That's great. You know. And uh, Russ, is that a um, is that also going to be on LinkedIn? And uh, can you share the details? We'll post that. We'll, mm. we'll share that up. Definitely, um, it'd be great to. Have. But I can say that um, you know we've had great people like Jim Fuse that have come in and mm. uh, shared shared tips. And because of that kind of information. Uh, that's so we, of course, you and I co-host uh, the tea break e every month, and this is the one-year anniversary. Now we've now made the complete cycle. This will be the thirteenth tea break. Um, but I can say that the the live show that Russ and I are doing every week uh, on Wednesdays is the experience with Russ and Scott is also a direct fallout from a result. Mm -hmm. From the connections and the education that we've we've received, we we wouldn't be able to do that type of a event without the the support of people like Jim and Alan. And Alan, by the way, uh, made the graphics that you see around us. He made the graphics that you see on the experience um, when you go to the website. He's the the videos that we've been using <laughs> to promote. Uh, and so I tell you, there is some amazing talent uh, sitting right, right here next to me. Over here, over here. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Whatever direction you are, wherever you are. Just, uh, what I want to do is I'm going to change the view here because we are joined in here uh, by. I'm going to take. Uh, I'm just going to change that. Right, do now. Look at the. That's hold really on, good. Hold, hold Jason, on, Jason. No, there we go. Oh, I was say, Jason, I was speak screen then. <laughs> Yeah, uh, see, Jason, you have such a forceful personality. You can't be contained by one screen alone. No, there's never one box for me. There's always two boxes or three boxes. So technology of this world today just elevates me out of here. So uh, yeah, I appreciate you come, uh, inviting me on. Yeah, delighted to have you on. So uh, we're just talking about um, the Global Tea Break and the community and the way it has really sort of developed over the last yeah. year. And we just love, uh, you know, I suppose like myself and Scott are immersed in it because we've been creating it and building it and stuff like yeah. that. But from a, I suppose from a community member's point of view, what have you learned or how, what, how has it benefited you, Jason? Um. Number one, it's uh, reached me to a larger audience. So it's helped me connect to great people like Scott, uh, Stacy, Russ, Russ as well. Russ is on speed dial now. So um, he, uh, uh, well, that's good as well. So no, I think it's a great community. Uh, the way I like to see it, I learn a lot, mm -hmm. uh, which is awesome. So I can always like to think about how I can add value back to other people and who, who are else I can connect other people to. Because you know, mm. you've been very good at giving me a mic, which I still got, uh, trying to get rid of now. But Actually, don't, no, you need, I'm just about to say that to you. Actually, I have a person for that mic, so we can pass that on. So good. We, definitely weird because Yvonne Redden is wanting to start her, her own podcast. So I oh, just, that okay, is so. that is wonderful. I'm glad to hear that uh, Yvonne is doing that. So uh, that's uh, just there that's for her. So, so that's, um, right. that's going to go to that home. So it's all awesome. It's, it's what's known as pass the mic. <laughs> well, yeah, that is, isn't that uh, uh, you do that in comedy or something like that? You pass the mic over. Um, yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's the, uh, the improv, right? That's right. Yeah, yeah in provocation. But it's <laughs> It's, uh, well, that's also very useful. So to share ideas, uh, people to speak to. So um, and obviously to be a guest on other people's shows uh, mm -hmm. and to learn. I always find that it's good to learn and share the knowledge forward. Uh, and that's a good thing to do. Yeah. Also yeah. give a shout out to Audrey. Good to see you here, too. Audrey, thank you. Yeah, Audrey's in. <clears throat> yeah, so if anyone wants to, Russ, if you want to jump in as well, you don't let Russ in. Don't let him. No, in. no, you have to. No, I'm only joking. I'm only that's, joking. The that's when the party really get going. So uh, yeah, yeah so that Russ is excellent. He's really jump good. in. The link is in the chat there. And Cami, if you are there as well and you want to jump in, there's room for everybody in here. Um, because I think this is what it's about. Like we're just talking. Mm. It's a year now since we started. 
the global tea break and we've come leaps and bounds like with the amount of people like i think our first meet scott i think there was about five or seven people on it i think that's what we had a small group yeah first one it was a small one um and it's just grown like i think the last one there was 25 or 30 people on it you know which is great when you can get a lot of people that uh couldn't because of scheduling Mm. And that was me as well. I couldn't get on the last one because I had a, 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 a coaching client. But uh, I'll definitely be on the next one. And I think I was on the, the one uh, in May last year. I think that's when I first uh, jumped on uh, board. Mm. And I, I, just, I haven't looked back since. So something to look forward to as well, especially in these closed times, but especially in Dublin and uh, UK and some places in, in the States which are quite closed off. So it's good to now see networking in a different point of uh, view. And I hope this carries on. Oh, well, yeah. that's, the, that's the plan. And uh, Jason, that's uh, one of the things that I think has been, um, you know, we've had uh, friendships that have developed out of this. We've had uh, business collaborations that have, have uh, come out of this. But I, I think one of the most important things is really that emotional support that we've all had uh, we weren't expecting that as a part of this when 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 Alan first sent that message out and said we we need to have a a, a tea break <laughs> yeah in January yeah. a year ago yeah but that's and that's it uh, I'm just seeing uh, Russ putting up a message he says sorry guys he says we're just recording Wendy show so that's the reason why he can't jump in normally he'd be there he'd be in or and so uh, yeah but um yeah no like. And I think that's the great thing that's what sort of has happened with the with the tea break and like you know we sort of as I said as Scott Mitchell said you know we sort of started it with just the two of us where we said let's jump on have a cup of tea um, or a cup of coffee as it was the only Depends reason we on called it I suppose we called it and the only reason I called it a sort of it was a tea break was is because we're here in Ireland and we drink a lot of tea, even though I have to admit I drink more coffee than I do tea. Yeah, but too, too. It's just a different slant on it. So that was one of the reasons. But like that, and then Russ or Scott says, oh, why don't we open it up to the world? And we went, Yeah. And within I think it was a week or so, we had the first one. And since then it's grown, like we now have the website, which is brilliant. Um do you have a, a a sample of what the website looks like? So the global, it's, it's up there. It's the global tea break. You're on it. Now, okay. Jason, you're already you're already up there in their community pictures okay. and all, and links to your links to your um to your LinkedIn and everything. So what we've have on the website now is is we have all the dates, so you can just register once. Which is this is great now because uh, Scott has been uh, working furiously in the background to. Uh, to build the, I suppose, the back end of, of the um, registration. So basically, what you can do now is you can actually just register once instead you can of. You see it, Cammy. <laughs> it, it, it was. Um, um, I have. Um, like that, we have sort of just built out. So you only have to register once and then. The day before every meeting, we will be notified that it's on, but it's the one link right across the year. So it saves so much of, you know, of having to say, oh, do we get it or did I get mm-hmm. the link or where's the link? So it's the same thing. So once in uh, radio, you know, Don is saying he, he hasn't found the link. So, ah, um, and I'm just adjusting my lighting. I've just finished the podcast and uh, she said afterwards my lighting was bad. So, I think she'll improve it. There yeah, you so go. if you go to uh, global oh, tea break. Well, oh, look at that. All right. There you go. Uh, Don says he can't find the link. Uh, the link, I will post it into uh, the uh, chat now for you, Don. Um, yeah, globaltbreak.com. And then uh, you can, um, there's, a, there's a tab where you can see all the dates. But also on that front page, if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see a, a big purple button that says um, to go ahead and uh, register. And uh, register once, and that will be good for the whole year, as Alan was saying. Yeah, I'm there. And uh, I'm just posting that out there, and it's going to go out there. So it's now uh, just gone out. 
gone out there on the stream. Don, if you want to jump on, you're more than welcome. We'd be delighted to see you. So come in and say, pop in and say hello. Um, and Don's just rebranded himself as well by the sound of it. Yeah, he's uh, yeah, he's Don is uh, back on the scene after uh, building his home or, or renovating his new home. So he's uh, back in full flight now. So we'd be uh, definitely getting him to come on and do a little bit of an educational piece as well on the tea break. Um, this month we have um, Stephen McDonald um amazing guy absolutely yeah, amazing guy. Yeah. and he's going to be talking about giving your head peace and tactics to be more uh, of yourself so uh the, it'll be a very interesting piece um uh, we've had a good old chat about it and he's uh, delighted to come on but yeah, this is one of the uh this mm -hmm. is one of the the topics that, that for me i think i would like to see and and this will be great to talk about this within the community because we get to decide what we want to do um but i think some of the things around uh mental health and um yeah just being able to to support each other mm -hmm. uh you know, a lot of us are, it's, we're in the, now we're in the mid vaccine time, but the lockdown is still there. Uh, we're still going to have a lot of this sequestration, a lot of lockdown stuff, uh, a lot of separation. We won't be coming back together the way that we were. And so if we have the tools to take care of ourselves and to help each other uh, on an emotional mental health basis, that's going to be critical to everyone's success. I, uh, to be honest with you, I think every, uh, no matter how resilient you actually are, we all suffer from it. Uh, and we all have suffered it from one time. Some days you just are a little bit down because of the lack of connection that you can't go and see your family or your friends. I know for me, I can't go over to England to see my family. So, you know, that causes uh, stresses. But, you know, I know you have to accept it, but it's also frustration and it also causes anxiety. And I'm sure we all have elements of that within us but it's how we can share it and deal with it and maybe show a little bit of uh, vulnerability that uh hopefully we can pick up the phone to the likes of yourself alan and scott and like share 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 what our stories really because yeah not everything's going to be 100 percent for all of us so you're, you're absolutely right you hit the nail on the head with wellness yeah, I think that's I think that's the key important uh, factor. You know, we're here to support each other, and it really has. You know, I know we've had many many conversations, and it's been great to be able to chat with people and just you know. Sometimes I just say shooting the breeze having a chat not about business not about what we are not what we're doing but just actually just talking to each other because i think that's where we're we're all going to be um it's it's yep. it's, it's so imperative that we do that i and guess it's just arrived there we go there's uh, <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. our inspiration <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey everybody here to spread a little joy and happiness this morning your inspiration <laughs> specialist <laughs> Hey Russ, we've got uh, we've got a a, a live uh, a special edition, and we've got the Experience Plus coming up. That's right, very exciting tonight, four thirty Pacific Standard Time, which is a little late for you, Alan and Jason. But I don't know, Alan will probably still be awake. But probably it is really. I'll be asleep. <laughs> I'm afraid. Be ten, about that's about what ten thirty. Oh, oh yeah, that's still be up. Oh, yeah, that's, that's nothing for Alan. That's, that's nothing. The, yeah. That's the middle of the day for me, lad. <laughs> Alan doesn't sleep. He, he's, he's like a vampire. Yeah, that's that's pretty much right. I was on at midnight your time after midnight doing a live a while back, and he, David Brown, and somebody else from over there in Ireland. Wendy, were on. It was Wendy wasn't it? Wendy and I'm like, what are you guys doing? Absolutely. <laughs> but anyway, this we have a couple from Australia, uh, good friends of mine. Uh, so they are Stephen and Donna Fry. Oh, so yes. you guys, I'm sure, have heard about them. So they're yeah. yeah. And and Jason, I think you were on their year. I so, was. Yeah, you and I were both one of their uh, their people over the year. Anyway, they're going to be on. Tonight it's gonna to be a ton of fun. And I told them wow. you don't have to do it in the middle of the night because they were gonna do 7 a.m. my time, which is like 1 30 or 2 in the morning their time. I'm like, forget that. Just we'll do it your time. So 4 30 Pacific Standard Time today. So every every week it's the experience with Russ and Scott. But when we do these special editions and we'll maybe do one or two a month, it's the experience plus. Oh, I love the it. Experience love plus. It. Yeah. 
That's good. I like that, Scott. That was really good. I like the plus edition, and I've got to keep that in there. So, yeah, and we're blessed. Even though on the fl- the short run, we uh, we have been able to get sponsors for our uh, for our live show as well. So, um, which is really great. Got a great great family business, credit card, debit card processing business. Uh, they're sponsoring us tonight. Yeah. Independent merchant brokers. They're awesome. Excellent. I would have thought you would have got that coffee shop down the road as your sponsor, Russ. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do have a coffee shop, two coffee shops sponsoring my podcast. So I pretty much used them up on the podcast. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Russ, tell us what has, what has been some of the things that have benefited you from uh, the Global Tea Break? Well, you guys, I mean, are just a huge blessing to me. And I I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I mean, both of you, Jason and Alan, uh, through the Global Tea Break have done so much to help me and uh, in what I've been doing in my change of business. Scott has been a friend for a long time. Really, my whole little... uh, venture to start into what I'm doing. He was really a catalyst to make that happen in my book and everything. So Scott's a blessing. Uh, Being able to meet so many cool people. I was on with Joseph McGuire this morning recording um, a a version of my podcast. And by the way, Scott, he's scheduled in May for the live show, but he is such, man, what a great guy. And oh my goodness. And all of these people I would not have met had it not been for the Global Tea Break. I'm on Wendy Stunt's show later on. It is a recording, but we're going to be doing that here in about 35 minutes. Uh, I was on Yvonne Redden's, her uh, pandemic thing just here in the last couple of weeks. Been on both of your podcasts. It What a blessing. I mean, it really, really is. And so the fact that I'm able to reach out, like you guys know, every Global Tea Break, I am sitting there writing down all the names of everybody on the tea break and I'm connecting with every single person individually while that's going on. And mm-hmm. so I have developed friendships probably with 75% of the people so far. Wow. Wow. That's, that's, that's incredible. That's incredible to hear. I, I was going to say, actually, uh, Russ sends me uh, videos every now and again by WhatsApp when he wakes up in the morning at four o'clock in the morning or whenever he wakes up, he sends me a video. <laughs> Very exciting. Very, I love it. Absolutely love it. And Jason, a lot of times, sent a video back jogging through the mountains of Ireland, <laughs> through the hills. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant stuff. Yeah, it's great. Well, you know, I think it's amazing. I don't know what you guys think, but I think it's amazing that I can take my smartphone and I can text you guys in Ireland. Both of you guys are on my speed dial and I can text you guys if I, and it's awesome. And you text me back. I just think I just think technology is amazing and the connection if people are not connecting with people not only locally but worldwide they are really missing out and missing the boat because talk about bringing joy to your life and encouragement when I'm able to reach out and encourage and and connect with other people it encourages me so it's it's a wonderful thing yeah mm-hmm. And it's, I think that I think one of, the, one of the big things that I find with the tea break is, is, is that it's the support that's there, yeah. you know, and it's the encouragement where if you're, you know, if you are doing something, there's, there's so many people who are supportive of you, but they're also there, you know, egging you on to do more and saying this is brilliant and whatever. And I yeah. think that's great. And I think that's one of the big parts of, you know, what the tea break has really brought to you know to people as much as there's been the connections the support i think is a massive massive part of what we're doing as well yeah i well i'll just chime in again i don't mean to hog all the talk time but i was going to say on that support when i threw out invitations for my book release first of all it's wendy stunt's idea to do a big zoom book release and then all of you guys jumped on uh people all over the world jumped on and talk about yeah, talk about support. I mean, and talk about mm-hmm. encouraging. I mean, really, I'm not a super emotional. Well, I am emotional, but I don't cry a lot. But it makes me almost want to cry how, how much I appreciate everybody jumping on without even asking. Not even not. It was not even a question whether you guys were going to be on mm-hmm. or not. You were all on and just supporting me, and I just amazing, that, amazing. That's, that's, that's waiting for the money to come through and. Uh, uh, 
<laughs> by the post. That. What about you, Alan? Have you got what the money? <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to be waiting on that one, Jason, for some reason. Or other. <laughs> I will just say that support um, that goes on uh, every every. I will say at least every, I know every week, but almost every day. Uh, between members of the global tea break community, um, it, it, subscribing to each other's podcasts, yeah. uh, being guests on the podcast, sharing those out, um, you know, those little things. When you when you like someone's post on LinkedIn, that means something. That helps, and it's so fun when you when 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 Russ or Alan or Jason or any member of the community puts something up mm-hmm. on LinkedIn and and I and I'm scrolling through, and I see it, and I go to to like it or support it or uh, whatever uh, uh, support I can give to it. But I see all these pictures of people from the global tea break community who have been there before me. Yeah, yeah. Well, and I've got to say that I'm the kind of person that likes to support and encourage people anyway. But it gives me extra drive. I, Alan, got up at 3:45, 15 minutes earlier to make sure because I had just been talking with Sue Cardi a few days before or a week before when you had your live show with her, I made sure that I was up and ready to go and say hi. And because I want to, it makes me really invested to support you back because of all that you've done for me. And I know you don't help me for that, but that's what it's all about. When you're helping other people, they want to help you back. They are invested in you. Yeah, and I think that um, I appreciate that. I do appreciate that. Um, and like that, you know, it's it's been able to just help someone out. And as, as Scott says, you know, when you see everyone's name in the in these tabs and stuff like that, you just go, oh, great. And I think it's it's so important that we do that. And like that, as you say, getting up that early, like that's that's commitment. That's commitment, Russ. Oh, oh, well, like, you're, you're saying you got up a quarter to four. I said. I'm going to bed at quarters of four. I was <laughs> just about to say that, actually. <laughs> Full swing there, you know. That's oh, like, like a tag team. <laughs> I but, love uh, that. I love yeah. that. Yeah. You, yeah. That's Well, we definitely have different schedules for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, no, it's great. And, of course, you know, like, we're looking at this year and we're looking at what new stuff and we we did mention in the in the post we were saying about the new features and the new <clears throat> some of the new features and we would ask you to contribute um is, is we now I'm um, um, this only last week we put a new um, blog page up on to the website so the idea is is for members and and in within the community to uh, share their blog posts and if they want to send them on to myself i can upload them we can upload them up onto the global tea break which it gives people another i suppose platform to get their message out there as well and hopefully share interesting and educational stuff so that's the reason so if anyone does have blogs happy to you know guest blogs with obviously you know you can then share them out as well and it helps build out i suppose the community the influence, the education, all these things have all come together. And I think that's great. And then, you know, Scott, I know we're going to, we're looking at uh, the webinars as well for this year. So uh, right. uh, talk a little bit about that and just. Yeah. Uh, so we've got, uh, we've got a couple of topics coming up. One of them is going to be on LinkedIn by a master of LinkedIn. Who's that, Who's that then? <laughs> Do you know anyone? Master. master. <laughs> yes. Yes, Master and I will say Master. that you know, Link, LinkedIn is the is right now. I mean, it is the gold standard place uh, for business connections. It makes it for me. It makes it so easy to make those introductions uh, because if I'm connected to Russ and I'm connected to Jason, and I believe that they should be connected to each other, it's Absolutely. so easy for me to go in and do that. And mm-hmm. there's a lot of benefits uh, to to having a good presence on LinkedIn. And I think that's going to continue to develop that we we've seen this. Uh, uh, I will say it's really a resurrection or a resurgence or uh, something that's going on. Yeah. And Alan's going to be there to, to, yeah. to lead the way for us. Uh, and we've lo- like this, that's we've loads coming up. Like we have Jim is going to be doing some um, live streaming. I think it's the 25th or something, I think, as far as I know. In, um, just, yeah. yeah, 
this month and then i will do i'm going to be doing it and scott's going to be talking all about networking and stuff like that we also have um i think wendy's going to come in she's going to do one on marketing and yvonne said to i was only talking to her the other week and she's happy to come in uh, she is a bit nervous but she says she'd be delighted to come in and talk all about um the warm audience. copywriting and Friendly getting your audience. story out there so there's so there's so much coming up um over over the next couple of months as well and then hopefully then in may we're going to have our uh, summit but we're working on that at the moment so that's that's yep. hey uh speaking of summits i want to i'm going to share a screen if i can here um yeah do you have to i can i think i can do this let me let me do this here uh wait a second here there you go. Can you see? Now you can see that. Alan, I think you can uh, pop that up. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. There so, um, oh, dear. I am. Uh, so, wow. I'll, speaking of this, I'll be speaking at the at uh, PodFest. Wow. And uh, so, this is a, it's really a, a big two week event. Uh, thank you to uh, Andrew Weiss, who has been a, who's a part of the, the uh, Tea Break community. Uh, and we are attempting to break a Guinness World Record uh, with the uh, uh, title for the largest attendance for a virtual podcasting conference in one week. And so that's that's coming up. And I do have discounted tickets. I think it's $49 for the whole uh, summit. And there are a ton of fabulous speakers um, coming uh, I'll be there talking about networking because, again, a lot of us, uh, we don't need hundreds of customers. We just need dozens maybe. And so we'll be talking about how to use your network to uh, um, to get customers. And specifically for the podcasting community, um, how you get guests through your network. And I know that, that uh, all of you guys have podcasts and that – Obviously, you're not advertising to get your guests. You are leading into your network and uh, getting some fabulous guests. And uh, so uh, if you want to email, anyone can email scott at dscottsmith.com, and I'll send you the information about uh, the PodFest Global Summit coming up. And it's going to be – it's a big deal. And uh, I'm hoping – that uh, right now I get to use this uh, Guinness World Records official attempt. Uh, I'm hoping to get the certificate that lets me say um, <laughs> that I am a uh, an official uh, world, world record world participant world. breaker or something like that. <laughs> yeah, but it is, uh, and I know I was at, I was at Podfast last year, um, the virtual one again last year, and it was incredible. It was incredible. I was actually helping out uh, someone else on their podcast who was being simulcast as well. So it was great. I was sort of doing a little bit of a relay from from something else. So there was, you know, but it's it is it's incredible. There's so many many great speakers and so many great podcasts out there. And, you know, I think the world of podcasting is just phenomenal. I've always said it. I just think it's incredible. It's a great way of getting your message out there. And it's a great way of finding and listening and talking to new people from around yeah. the world. I know, like, we were on, after your experience um, yesterday, you had the after party, which was on... Clubhouse. Clubhouse. And like that, I spent, I was, I was telling you guys as well on Clubhouse that I have met so many new, incredible people that I am yeah. itching, and I mean itching, to get and start talking to them on the podcast. Me too. Well. Me too on Clubhouse as well. I so, found yeah. out. Hey, Scott, did you see the text that I sent you last night from Clubhouse? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. So last night, there is this millionaire, billionaire talk going on on podcast i mean on on uh on clubhouse, yeah, clubhouse. And i got a picture to remember so i actually say the right name but so i took a picture and sent it to scott because my name was on the list it was put on by grant cardone and everybody wow. knows grant cardone is grant's talking and there's all these other yeah. there's people from from the uh shark tank and just all those kind of people right and they're just talking on clubhouse 
And so this picture that I sent, Scott has Grant Cardone's name first and my name down at the bottom with all these billionaires. Whoop, whoop. Things to yeah. come, people. Things to come. There you go. That's so, right. Yeah, you I, know, the, the, if, if your goal is to be stinking rich, you're halfway there. There yeah. you go. Well, I'm stinking at least. So, yeah, we'll get there. <laughs> just need to get the rich part. <laughs> yeah. No, it's just phenomenal. Where's my sanitizer? Where's my sanitizer? <laughs> phenomenal. Yeah, so this is another, uh, you know, speaking of uh, a podcast and Clubhouse, uh, Clubhouse has been, uh, I've heard it described as uh, real time podcasting. Yeah. Uh, so a lot of people, you know, you don't need to be camera ready. You don't have to worry about your background. You don't have to worry about your lighting. And um, although it's only on Apple, iOS, uh, yeah. iPhone, iPad right now, uh, I know they're working on, on some other things. But, um, you know, get yourself a used, if you don't have one, get a used iPhone or something and participate there. It and uh, the, the, a lot of the, so we're doing an after party for uh, the experience. We're also doing an after party for the tea break on Clubhouse, and that's just been a that's been a great way to extend some of these events. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I think I want to say that I was super thrilled and excited to first of all be able to figure out how to set one up, and then number two, we had five people. That may not sound like a lot, but I was excited just to have, and somebody new, I connected with somebody new on that that I had never met. And mm -hmm. now he and I are connected all over the place and are going to get together on Zoom and chat. So, and I got to tell you, Jason, while I'm thinking about it, speaking of millionaires and billionaires, Ed Soho, great conversation, did reconnect on his own with me to Brilliant. do a podcast. And it was funny because I don't know if you all know Ed, but the first time I talked to them, I got connected through Jason. First time I talked to them, he's telling me, yeah, the week before he was talking with the with the uh, you know the heads and the CEO of Apple or of of you know these gigantic companies. And my whole time, I'm thinking in my mind, why are you talking to me? <laughs> because <laughs> he's phenomenal. He's uh, I've known him for about five or six years. Ed is just uh, he just thinks totally different from anyone else I've ever spoken to. He's just incredible, absolutely well, incredible. And that's what I thought, Jason. The whole time we're speaking, I'm thinking thought pattern, mindset, and the way we approach life, we're exactly the same. Yeah. yeah. We're approaching from the same level, but he's just on a different financial level than I am. But <laughs> but it well, was just I'm yeah, thinking the whole time, what a blessing. That's the, only, that's the only difference. And like that, like I always remember when I spoke about it before and I've said it to Jason, I think I've said it to yourselves as well, is this when I started out the podcast and I was looking to, you know, to interview all these big names for the, the social media and stuff like that. And I remember uh, uh, talking to Ted Rubin. And like that, I got on and Ted had only come off another show. And I said, well, if I wasn't nervous before, I am now. And he turns around and he says, you've got to remember, he says, we're all the same. He says, as you yeah, said, Russ, it's just a different, maybe a different financial setting, but he says, we are all the same. And he says, and never ever think any differently, he says, because that's the key. And that's something that I've carried with me through the podcast, but also through training and telling people that and giving them that real life example, because it stood out. And I'm talking, what, about three years ago now? And I still mm. remember saying it. So, you know, I think it's about we in the, the world has gotten, has changed. There's no longer us and them and there's different divides. Mm -hmm. We are now all on the equal, on the equal footing. Yeah. It's just different circumstances. Absolutely. And I will no often say. Absolutely no barriers to yep. connect with, you know, superstars or whether they be just, you know, someone from an everyday walk of life, it's it's opportunities to listen to what they say. And as Scott always says, what's going on in your world? <laughs> yeah, what's going on in your world? And I, I will just say that, and, and people have heard me, I will repeat this and I will continue to repeat this. This is absolutely the best time ever to be alive. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The barrier to entry is just your willingness to participate. Mm -hmm. If you want to have a podcast, you want to broadcast, you have something to say, you want to write a book, you want to publish it, you want to share it out globally, you can do that. Um, you want to get people uh, to interview. And, and this goes back to now the technology has, has 
equalized a lot of things for folks. But if we think back uh, many years uh, to back when Steve Jobs said uh, that there's really no limit to what you can accomplish, if you remember that this world was built by people who are no smarter than you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of those people too, when you look at people like Steve Jobs and you look at people like Phil Knight and people like uh, Bill Gates, they started out of their garages, out of the trunks of their car. They started like everybody else and look what they built. And, you yeah. know, I mean, uh, Dave Ramsey's really been a catalyst for me financially. But Scott, you were kind of my Dave Ramsey for the things I'm doing now because it's that can-do attitude, which mm -hmm. I have a lot of that naturally, but still you have all of these uh, limiting beliefs in your mm -hmm. brain that limit your actual activity. And, you know, Scott's like, dude, you got to write a book, man. Dude, you got to get a podcast. I'm like, I didn't have any idea how to do that. <laughs> and so I just did it. And that's become one of my biggest things to, to encourage people mm -hmm. with. Who cares if you don't know it? Just do it and find people awesome. like Alan and Jason. I yeah. mean, right now. I don't know, ask people. You think about that. It's, you know, you think, as as you said, when Scott had said that to you, you know, do a podcast, write a book. You say, oh, where do I even start? You fast forward. And this is the catalyst. Six months. Only six months. And there you are now with podcasts, live shows, You've got your book out. You know, it's just incredible. Like, just to see the transition from where. Like, I remember the first time we talked to where you are today and looking at what you do now. And, like, even I go, where does he get the time to do these things? <laughs> yeah, and the fact that you guys are so such a blessing and willing to help with that. That's the reason I got to where I was. And Scott's right. This is the greatest time to be alive. covid God created space for me in my life through COVID um, because because of that, suddenly my whole life changed and mm -hmm. it changed in a good way. And suddenly I had time to write a book. I had time to do a podcast. I had time to explore new opportunities that I didn't have previously working mm -hmm. a job that I was there from six to nine. At nine. I mean, you know, my whole life I was working away at the other job, so I could have never done the things without that. So, yes, it is an awesome time to be alive. I was going to suggest uh, when you surround yourself with the right people, mm. with the right intent and the right purpose and the good positive attitude, like we all read it in books, but we're actually sort of practicing what we preach right now from what we've all done in our careers. Uh, I, I know I've done uh, phenomenal things over the last year, and I'm really delighted by myself. Uh, athletics wise as well as uh um doing this and podcasting and reaching out uh, around the globe with phenomenal people but it is stepping up and again surrounding yourself with the right people that will lift you up and also help you out and to pick up the phone and connect with them and say look i have this challenge would you mind helping me out or i know you used to help me out alan i, I Dumped in the car, went around your house within a day. So uh, I was sitting in your office where you're sitting now, uh, looking around your desk, going, "What does that do? Show me how that works." And that's so, where I'm going. You don't want to know about that one. You don't want to know. About that. <laughs> yeah, don't do that one. No, don't open that one. No, no. It's a bit too advanced. But however, <laughs> not an underworld, but just <laughs> not that. Well, it's the uh, consultant Jim Rohn, the the, the speaker uh, educator Jim Rohn. He's the one that, that coined that phrase that says, uh, we are the sum of the five people we spend the most time with. Absolutely. And, you know, when you think about it, five people, that's not very many people. No. Um, but, and I and I challenge people to, to look at their life and go back through your calendar, you know, look, look through your calendar and look, who are you spending time with? And how has that affected your business uh, and your personal life? You know, there's really five, there's there's five areas that we need to think about, right? So you've got your professional life, uh, you've got your financial life, you've yeah. got your relational life, you've got your personal goals, post-personal life, and your spiritual side. And we, we need to, that that those five sides, we need to focus on all of them. Mm -hmm. and, and it's going to be a result of who you're spending people with, like Jason, Russ, Alan, um, I mean, there's a, just a number of people. 
-hmm. Every okay. time that I get, you go through a lull in my mind in my business because, you know, I'll be doing so many things, so much great opportunity. I'm riding on cloud nine and then I'll wake up the next morning and I'll be thinking, what am I doing? I need to make more money. I need to do this or whatever. But then I remember all the positive connections, all the positive momentum that's going on and how it's building community infrastructure. Uh, my, you know, all that I'm doing because my goal Every morning I wake up, uh, I read my why to inspire and encourage people so that they can live a purpose-driven life of significance. That's my why mm -hmm. every morning. And if I am doing that, I am successful. I am, you know, living an abundant life. And I am just so blessed to be able to do that in whatever capacity I do. So with that note, I got to live a selfie life and take a selfie of you guys uh, with Yay, me. Yeah. To Wendy's show. So here we go. Are you ready? All right. Everybody smile. And then I want to take one of this screenshot. Here we go. Ready? Everybody, big, big. <laughs> Thank you. You guys are a blessing. I love you guys. Yeah, no, it is. And I think I'm just looking at time here. Like we could talk probably about this from um, uh we could keep going here for all the evening. We're like we could, we actually must start that. We just say do a marathon, one of these <laughs> stream yards, just to see what people think. Um, but I so do Dana Garrison has been doing that on Clubhouse. They've been running these uh, marathon sessions. I don't know how long they're going, but it reminds me back of the um, of the blab days. Uh, and I remember running a, a twelve hour blab one time um and, you know, which is for those of you that were uh not a part of that it was a uh um uh, a video uh, platform kind of like this we have four boxes and then there was a, oh, a cool. chat on the side and so you could have a lot of people and so i remember running this this uh 12 hour blab and um just connecting up to a lot of people well they're doing the same thing now uh on clubhouse and so they're running these uh, marathon sessions well, even if we don't do a marathon session, just getting together like this with multiple people and, and it gives me, you know how I how much I need energy, right, guys? But it gives me more energy because you guys inspire me. So I've got to run. Keep chatting. Love you guys. I'll see you later. We're going to finish up. Yeah. I have to have a call uh, with uh, Amsterdam next. So uh, I will have to love you and leave you as well. It's been phenomenal. Hey, it's been great. Thank, Thank you. So Thank you to Russ. Thank you to Jason. Thank you for everyone that was uh, commenting and everyone who has made uh, the Global Tea Break community something special uh, over this last year. Yeah, and that's it. And, uh, you know, and as I said, you know, we are next. Our next uh, Global Tea Break is on the uh, 19th of February as mm -hmm. uh, the times are all details are um, below in the chat as well. And um, yeah, just go to globalteabreak.com to register. Register once and you're there for the year and we will let you know every time that they're on. But uh, do join us. And this month, uh, we have a lovely, fantastic educational piece from uh, mm. Stephen McDonald from uh, Timesworth. And uh, he's going to be talking all a really really good stuff so uh do join us um it's on as i said what is it friday week scott isn't it yeah friday week as a or is it next friday i think it's yeah I can't it's, a, it's, uh, a, it's coming up uh a week from tomorrow yeah so it's uh it's a gonna be good tomorrow. it's gonna be good yeah. but guys if you have any um queries or you want to talk you want to get in contact with either myself or russ you find the details are on the website as well and uh, we would love you to join and be part of our community the global community that is the global tea break um so we're going to finish up and uh, say thanks so much for joining us so until the next time guys stay safe and remember a cup of tea can change the world. <laughs> Bye. Bye.